When Wi-Fi works well, it is awesome, but it is even more annoying when you cannot get a good connection. Wi-Fi extenders can fill in dead spots in your house or business, but it is often a mystery how these devices perform as wizardry. So here's how Wi-Fi extenders work and some tips when buying one. Welcome to Hari's Hobbies. The inner workings of Wi-Fi extenders are actually quite simple. Wi-Fi extenders are usually plugged into a wall outlet and have two antennas which receive, replicate, and then rebroadcast a new Wi-Fi signal. It's basically another router. Your router takes in an Ethernet cable and projects out Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi extender takes in Wi-Fi generally but can also take in Ethernet and projects out Wi-Fi just like a Wi-Fi router. Due to the big antennas that most of these Wi-Fi extenders possess, they can often capture the Wi-Fi signal much better than any of your laptops or devices could. As a result, Wi-Fi extenders are able to receive a better signal even in dead spots and project an even more superior signal out to your devices. So in a nutshell, that is basically what Wi-Fi extenders do and how they provide a much stronger signal for you. Now. How is a Wi-Fi extender different from a Wi-Fi booster? Well, a Wi-Fi booster is essentially supposed to be a stronger router. Wi-Fi boosters are designed to be directly plugged into your router and using larger and more powerful antennas, they're able to project the Wi-Fi into a further range. Wi-Fi boosters make the overall range of your Wi-Fi bigger, while Wi-Fi extenders add to the range of your main router. Now, if your router is not that great, then buying a Wi-Fi booster can help it tremendously. However, if your router is already quite decent, then a Wi-Fi booster won't really help that much. In that case, you're probably better off going with a Wi-Fi extender. But what should you look out for when buying one? As for tip number one, don't buy a Wi-Fi extender that is radically stronger than your internet connection because this will be more expensive but won't help you at all. For example, let's say that your internet connection is 50 Mbps and the max speed your provider offers is 100 Mbps, then don't go out and buy a Wi-Fi extender that is 1200 Mbps. A Wi-Fi extender cannot make your internet connection itself any faster. A 200 Mbps extender would be more than sufficient in that scenario. As for tip number two, if you're looking at buying a Wi-Fi extender with Ethernet ports, then make sure that the Wi-Fi extender not only has enough Ethernet ports, but that the Ethernet ports are the right type. You don't want the Ethernet ports to limit your connection. For example, if you have 50 Mbps internet, but the Ethernet port on the Wi-Fi extender is LAN 10 or 10 Mbps, then you will never get any faster than 10 Mbps from that. However, this is much less of an issue nowadays with pretty much all Wi-Fi extenders coming with a LAN 100 port or a 100 Mbps Ethernet connection. However, where you should be careful is if you have gigabit fiber internet and make sure that your Wi-Fi extender has a gigabit port. Because if it doesn't, you're going to be losing out big. As for tip number three, make sure the frequency bands of your Wi-Fi extender are the same as your Wi-Fi router. There are two different Wi-Fi bands, which are 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. They both have their own set of strong suits. For example, a 5 GHz connection is usually better for short distances with faster speed, and 2.4 GHz is better for long distance and just stable speed. Some Wi-Fi extenders only come with the 2.4 GHz connection, which is a single band repeater, so make sure to avoid these. Instead, get a dual band repeater, which will work at 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Whenever using it though, make sure that it is set as the same as the router for best results. And one more bonus tip after you buy your Wi-Fi extender is that make sure you place it in the right spot. You want to midway in between where you would like to extend the Wi-Fi to and your router. Fortunately, modern extenders even come with apps that aid you in finding the optimal location. So make sure you take advantage of these in order to maximize your Wi-Fi speeds. But that's pretty much it as to how Wi-Fi extenders work and some tips on buying one. Did I miss something really crucial about Wi-Fi extenders and what topic would you like me to cover next? Make sure to post those down below. Also, if you guys found this video helpful, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you would like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari and I'll see you guys on the next one.